hi guys welcome back to the channel i've been looking forward to doing this one um today we're going to take a look at soft 99s the kawami premium wax shampoo uh, i think they advertise it as a, an extreme gloss shampoo and obviously because doug is silver we've gone for the silver variety now normally this is where, where i flip it over and show you the instructions good luck with that <laughs> so um, they do provide some instructions that comes with the sponge that's included yes I said the S word sponge um, these seem to be very popular in Japan so who am I to argue with it but basically um, removes all kinds of dirt that you may encounter blah 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 by adding protection very interesting extreme gloss wax added to this shampoo will improve a long lasting shiny barrier that will protect your paintwork from deterioration i like the sound of that make sure your car paint is compatible yep rinse the car with water oh that's had a very good pre-wash uh, where were we? Heavy dust, blah 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 blah. Pour the shampoo into a bucket or apply it onto the included wet sponge. Now, I've watched a couple of videos on this, and I think it's called the Japanese wash method. We are going to try it against my better judgment, but we are going to try it, hence the uh, extremely thorough pre wash, and I mean very thorough. Okie dokie, uh, pour, sh oh, pour shampoo into the bucket. There's absolutely no mention of dilution rates. I mean, it, it, it's pretty pointless me trying to decipher that. So I've, there's not really an awful lot on Soft 99 site either. So internet has come to the rescue. General consensus in a bucket seems to be 75 mil. That's a lot of product, isn't it? Um, and it's also supposed to be virtually no foam whatsoever. This is going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to be doing the two bucket wash method, my preferred foam cannon wash method, and we are going to do a panel using the Japanese wash method and this sponge. Wish me luck, guys. I think this is going to be a good one. Right, let's get this mixed up. So, give it a shake. Citrusy, lemon sherbets maybe. Right, 75 mil. That this just seems wrong. I said it's 60. Very creamy looking. There's 70, another 15. So that's 75. Do you know what? I'm not going to put 75 in that. This pains me to do it. 50ml. Which is generally what I would put in for one of the lower quality soaps. Right, get the cap back on that before we go any further. Uh, the old PA1 and PA6 training is coming back into play. It's a 750ml bottle, so it's 75ml per application. That's 10 washes, isn't it? It's about £11, £12 a bottle. Mm. Not exactly cost effective, I will say that. But if it cleans well and it does leave protect decent protection behind, I suppose it's one of those products that you wouldn't mind treating yourself to rather mixed. Let's give that agitation. No, not a huge amount of foam in there, is there? Let's get the bucket whizzed up. Um, I'm mixing this with warm water. Sodded up in the bucket, all right. And bizarrely enough, 
you can feel lubrication there. Not massive amounts of lubrication. And the foam isn't that prolific. But there is lubrication there, you can feel it. I hate to say it, this smells like uh, lemon fairy. <laughs> Okay, let's reserve judgment. Right, I think we're going to go with the two bucket method first. Okay, wish me luck. So straight out of the rinse bucket. Let's really get this had loaded up. impressions it is actually quiting over the surface it's not it's not slick by any means Interestingly enough, this is so bizarre having no suds, but interestingly enough, will the camera pick it up? I have no idea, will it? There's like a rainbow effect, so there's something in it. I mean, it is slick, and it does glide over the paint, it's just, that is so bizarre washing without any suds. Let's give the foam can and wash method a go. Again, zero suds. <laughs> Picking up little pieces of blossom. Spring time, I can't believe it. It looks to me like it's running for a lot. It doesn't seem to dwell at all. So in other words, get a move on the bag before it uh, runs off.
this is weird. I kind of get it. I'm not sure I want to get it though. Definitely, definitely out of my comfort zone with this one, guys. Really, really am. Right. Um, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm finding this whole process very, very bizarre. Um, whilst I was rinsing that off, I did actually notice the water behaviour on the panel is, is dreadful. It's as flat as anything. So, before we do this final wash process... but there is some protection there let's give this a go shall we let's get this open okay, so like a sponge. guys so breezy here all the time so um Oh, I've got to do this with the next one. It's really wet. In my mind, this is just so wasteful. Um, maybe that's enough. Rather it's up. Watch. <laughs> Actually, do you know what? That is as slick as anything. Okay. And that is very, very, very flat performance. Okay, so I've very quickly dried everything off. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm lost for words with this stuff. I mean, super high gloss. I mean, yeah, it's glossy, but in fairness, it was glossy to begin with. Um, what didn't I like? Well, there's no suds. And I mean, there really is no suds. I'm wondering if it has something to do with soap, you know, sort of local wash laws, things like that, Japanese wash laws. I don't know. I don't know. But the water behaviour is absolutely... Let's grab the pressure washer. I should have done a before and after, actually, when I first noticed, but the water behaviour... Absolutely flat, and I mean flat. Hmm, not at all impressed, I'm afraid. Looks wise, average. It is average. Um, the sponge, no, no, don't like it, don't like it one bit. Um, water behaviour, I mean, I was expecting. I think it's because of Soft 99's 
um, reputation for giving amazing water behaviour um, but I was expecting a lot more from it to tell you the truth so um, the Kiwami I mean guys if I've done something wrong pipe up all you soft 99 fanboys pipe up tell me if I have done something wrong because you know I do like to give things a fair chance price um, in ink cheap it's 11.99 or thereabouts obviously it depends where you get it from um, don't really like the fact that it doesn't sod up kind of get it it's a bit like using autoglim um, the, the conditioning shampoo um, it was lubricated enough to not worry me when I was washing with it I, it's just not my cup of tea to be honest with you guys um, drop a comment down below tell me what you think um, could I recommend it? No, I can't recommend it to be honest. Uh, but that's entirely down to you guys. If it's something that's going to be your bag, then crack on. Like I said, drop a comment, let me know. Guys, hope you found it informative. Um, it was interesting. Uh, I, I, from a reviews point of view, I'm glad I did it just to see. Um, because Soft 99, they fascinate me. I don't know if it's the branding or or the ethos behind the detailing or whatever they do fascinate me but i'm uh, no this one isn't for me manufacturers if you're watching please hit me up get in touch if you'd like to have your products reviewed um, i'd love to give them a go really 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 want to say thank you to all my subscribers um 586 i think i'm up to now absolutely mind-blowing guys thank you ever ever so much Hope you enjoyed it guys, please look after yourselves and until the next time, keep it shiny.